looks like we're rolling. Uh, this is the first video I've attempted to show me painting. It isn't really a how-to video. This is just me working on a canvas. I've been ill recently and not able to paint, so I thought I'd sort of loosen up with a cat painting. No other real plans other than a cat painting. I printed out some photos I've taken of my two cats, Loki and Skye, throughout the years. Some are Loki when he was a tiny little baby. Don't know what kind of cat. I was thinking I could use Loki and make him into a tuxedo by changing the orange areas into black. And for the background, for some reason, I feel like purple. This is a canvas I started when I was doing another painting and I poured out too much black gesso and being a cheap starving artist I certainly wasn't going to waste it so it went on here. And let's see what we want to get started with. I tell people I paint organically meaning I don't plan out a lot for the most part. Sometimes I do if it's architecture but if it's one of these Zen paintings I tend to paint it kind of Zen. No real sketching, no real planning, just sort of go with it. Sometimes I'll take photos I've taken of the oak tree branches. They make really nice Zen paintings. But I have a lot in my head after so long not painting, so I'm not even going to do that. I'm just laying out some different purples, kind of at random. Sometimes for this size canvas, I use the slow drying acrylic. In fact, I usually do. But today I just wasn't in the mood, so I've gone back to my Liquitex Heavy Body Acrylic. I put some water out, although I probably won't need it at this stage. Now, for the background, I usually use two, two brushes, these two. <laughs> As you can see, I could probably stand to replace them, but there we are generally start with the moon so there's no chance I'm gonna get too much color dragged into there. I need a heck of a lot more white on this, but there we are. I guess I'll get some out right now. Got another big old tube of white if need be. And since I'm not gonna be going back over the moon, I'm going to go ahead and smooth that down. I have these brushes I use just to get rid of the brush strokes a little bit. Alrighty. See, around the moon, we usually get the lighter shades of the purple. This one's violet, it's got a little more pink in it. And I just sort of keep swirling around till I feel it's the right size and more or less round. Since I do that glow thing, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I just sort of smooth as I go. At this stage, I'm using white mixed into color. As we get further out on the canvas, I'll start reversing that take that other brush, put the dark down first, and then swoop some white into it. You have to work a little faster with these uh, regular acrylics. The heavy duty ones, they give you just a tiny bit more drying time, not like the open acrylics, but a little more than traditional as well. Get nice pigments too. They use the same pigments they use in oil paints, but I don't have to have the toxic other chemicals, which don't agree with me. So this is a race against how fast the paint is setting and how quickly I can smooth out most of these brush strokes. A little bit is fine, and if there's an area that maybe could have been done better, I can usually cover it up with tree branches. Now that's getting too dry, so I'm going to put in a whole lot of white. I want, the, I want the moon to sort of gradually glow out from it, but I don't want it totally white there to where you don't see much color at all. That doesn't have that nice of an effect. I think the black 
gives it the tiniest bit more depth. It almost gives the impression of little things going on in the background, even though there isn't. Now at this point, for blending or smoothing out those brush strokes, I always have to kind of shake my brushes out because I never know when a cat's walked across there and got fur all over them. Goes for the paintings too, the little darlings. When I first got Skye, she loved to sit and watch me paint. But periodically and without warning, she'd just take off and run across the canvas. I had some tense moments over that, although she never actually, she always managed to do it in a way that wasn't as disastrous as I thought it would be. brush just fell off. Well, at least it fell off on the palette and not on the painting, which has in fact happened to me. There, that ought to do it for the paint. Now we get a last little swish of white going on there. Like I said, I felt like stretching out a bit because I hadn't been able to paint, so nothing that does that faster than this need for speed on these, <laughs> on these quicker drying acrylics. I do a little crossway sometimes, just to give it a little smoother texture. doesn't have to be completely smooth. Actually, people like to see a bit of brush stroke. Makes them more conscious that they bought a real painting, not a print or something. That didn't look like it got the right answer. That looks pretty good. I am going to stop for now so that I can rinse these brushes out because again, quick drying acrylics, can't let the paint sit on there. And I'll rejoin you later. Thank you for watching.